Here on USGS map, um, you can see that uh, Washington State is having somewhat of an earthquake swarm. Uh, this goes back seven days, um, and you can see a lot of smaller uh, earthquakes. Um, these are 2.6s, 2.7s. I believe this was a 3.0. Uh, but as you can see, we normally don't get this many earthquakes, and it, it's somewhat of an oddity to see this many grouped up in such a short time span. And like I said, this is only going back seven days. Um, I've plotted out on on Google Map uh, many of the earthquakes that we've been having uh, in the recent past. Uh, for I, I've done it for months, but I've turned off um, most of the older ones. Um, we'll go over there, and I'll I'll show you over on that. Google Maps I've straight. plotted out for the last two weeks of the earthquakes except for a couple exceptions of near the Hanford nuclear facility uh, they've had numerous swarms there in the past so those are still up and I thought it was significant at one time that there's a 3 EQ swarm down here uh, that happened a few months ago um, but the illustration here is the point that I'm trying to point out is uh, in the recent past we've had a lot of earthquakes off, off the shore of Vancouver Island and with all the recent activity around the world, uh, what I think this is illustrating is uh, the plate pressure that's being put on the Strait of Juan de Fuca plate on the subduction zone. And you can see this is in the past two weeks, all these earthquakes. Um, you can see a, a pressure building up and then allowing itself to sprawl out and relieve some of its pressure with smaller earthquakes. Uh, today there was a, a 2.7 uh, right west of uh, Mount Rainier. Uh, south down here there was also a 2.6 uh, right near Portland. Uh, but this is illustrating a, a pattern, a line of direction, and it comes all the way over into eastern Washington. On the USGS animation map, we'll be able to illustrate the pattern uh, sequence of events that transpired up till now. Uh, note that there'll be a few earthquakes that pop up and they disappear. I don't know if that is uh, filtering info. I wouldn't know why they would want to do that. These are tax dollars that pay for this. So if anybody is upset about that, please write your congressperson and illustrate that but we'll start the animation Okay. It sure seems like you can see a degradation in the fault activities here. You see many numerous earthquakes happening simultaneously uh, next to each other. Um, you'll see a pattern here, filter all the way down to here. Uh, this is interconnected by volcanoes. You have Mount Rainier, you have St. Helens, you have Mount Hood, you also have Mount Baker up here, and then you have Snow Dome over here. Uh, it's a very volcanic active area. Uh, we'll go over to uh, to the web recorders and and illustrate that 
there's some interesting uh, uh, seismographs over there that uh, need to be looked into a little deeper. Uh, we'll go over there now. Here we have the snow dome graphs from the 18th till the 22nd and around 1 o'clock each night uh, or morning however you want to look at it uh, the activity starts up for roughly about seven hours uh, it, it's the same every night uh, some nights are a little more than others this has been going on for for a, um, a short while now uh, to me it's showing that it's uh, building up uh, it's in a harmonic movement of, of magma underneath the snow dome which is a volcano uh, each day the same the same events happen around the same time um, this is up to the current up till around two o'clock our time in Washington uh, people should take heed that this is abnormal uh, to have this much activity uh, happening in a time span. This isn't the only place that this has happened now. I showed you on an earlier video a trend that was setting from from snow dome to uh, grass mount over to Ellensburg over to Wooded Island. Uh, that's still progressing in the same fashion. Uh, now we've had uh, more earthquakes following along the lines of of the volcano line uh, we're having a buildup of pressure in in the northwest particularly in Washington I believe the Strait of Juan de Fuca plate has has built up and is now trying to release um, if if I I personally am taking heed of it and and have got my uh, preparations just in case an earthquake does happen I haven't seen this kind of movement uh, prior to to looking at this on such a even level each day uh, systematically it happening and and that raises alarm for me um, this illustrates my point of a lot of pressures building up um, in in the Strait of Juan de Fuca okay, here uh, we're over on the uh, web recorders for uh, Mount Baker Mount Rainier uh, the volcano line uh, that goes from north to south into into uh, Oregon uh, in Washington State. I am going to keep this a little shorter, uh, just for time constraint. Uh, here we're missing time at Mount Baker uh, before and after that started a couple days ago. But I wanted to go over to Camp Muir. Uh, it's showing activity. Uh, all day there was a earthquake just west of Mount Rainier. Camp Muir is on the top of Mount Rainier. Uh, one notable one that's this is uh, Mount St. Helens Old Dome for today. And it's severely active. Uh, I would look out for that on uh, June Lake it's showing kind of like Camp Muir is. Uh, go back to the previous day and show you previous activity. Uh, here's Camp Muir. That started up four o'clock yesterday and or four o'clock this morning and there's an earthquake on top of the mountain that didn't register. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't been feeling well for a few days now. Uh, here's Mount St. Helens Old Dome for yesterday and this morning. Um, like I said earlier, things have gotten really active here and uh, and I believe that we all should be uh, on the lookout and have preparations made for for any event but you know it doesn't hurt to have something uh, so there you go for